Guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker, and today we're going to talk about a couple of fun topics, actually. Um, first, I want to thank you who have joined me over at Locals, because most of these stories that I'm going to be reading and talking about today are from the Locals forums. Um, you guys are doing a great job posting stuff over there, and so thank you very much for these stories. I think a lot of them do um, <clears throat> should get more attention than they do, maybe, but with so many people posting so many things, it's, it's sometimes easy to miss some things. Um, first, before I forget, a feral Android, you messaged me uh, on a donation uh, that you sent to my, um, my PayPal. I don't have a way to respond to you via that, but since you say you're a member of Locals, go to the upper left-hand corner of the Locals webpage, not on the app, and you'll see a message, Better Bachelor. Click on that, message me. We'll talk about uh, what you asked and if I can help you with that kind of stuff. Um, all right, so uh, first thing I'll, I'll talk about today is um, Google has banned any discussions where they're gonna demonetize, Google and YouTube are gonna demonetize any topics discussing global warming that do not comply with what mainstream media is pushing and what they their message is. Um, I'm not even gonna get into the debate on it, but the whole point is that if, if, if you disagree with what these media companies are putting out there, they're going to make your life hard or they're going to remove move you. And as such, if you do like to have free speech and to be able to talk about any topic in the world, join me over on betterbachelor.locals.com. Our forums have blown up. We've got like 50,000 members over there and uh, you guys can participate on the forums if you're a supporter. So please join me over there because uh, pretty soon the topics we can talk about will be less and less and less. All right, first story we're gonna talk about today. Uh, women rage about this man's dating profile. What I find so interesting about this is that, like we've talked about many times before, it's it's do as I say, not as I do. And also they're gonna call this guy out for pretty much doing what almost every dating profile of the day that I talk about does, which is a list of demands and requests. But when a guy does it, he's being unreasonable and they need to write an article on a, some feminist blog um, about it. But when women do this, well, this is just a woman's prerogative. It's just her choice. So let's let's get into the story here. This is from uh, the Mary Sue. Um, this is just from like two days ago, three days ago from October 6th. Dating site profile goes viral for being the exact problem with how people treat dating apps. New red flags we didn't think we had to discuss. Well, obviously they must be talking about a woman's profile, right? Um... <laughs> Oh wait, you serious? This uh, it says profile bios across the internet. Uh, profile bios, bios, same thing, across the internet, not just on dating sites, can tell you a lot about someone, even if they are embellishing some aspects and obscuring others. They can give you a quick form of reference of what a person finds to be of value. There's one making the viral rounds on the internet that is especially telling, and not in the way he intended, but the exacting, endless scroll of attributes he's seeking speaks to larger issues about the outsized demands our culture places on looks and politics, especially when we're talking about requirements for what makes uh, for an appealing woman. Uh, now I've read the dating profile and I'll read it here for you just in a second. And yes, he is very uh, specific in his requirements. However, I've got seven or eight, six, seven, eight, something like that, dating profiles of women that are gonna show you that women are doing the exact same thing. The difference is, more women than men are doing it. And uh, they're not writing articles about the women being unreasonable, only the men being unreasonable because of course, surprise, shocking, right? Uh, they continue on because of the profile's name is blacked out. We're just gonna call this man, oh boy. Oh boy decided to opt out of a personal description and instead map out what amounts to be, compl uh, what amounts to be uh, co a complicated shopping list for his ideal women. Uh, he, like many before him, misunderstood the assignment, instead choosing to write the biography for this imaginary person. So what this guy did that is, uh, I guess, so insulting to them is he said, the woman I'm looking for should be this. Okay, problem is, there is there shouldn't be a problem because grocery lists, women make uh, dating profile grocery lists all the time. I mean, that's why we talk about the sixes. The guy has to make six figures. He has to be six 
feet tall. He has to have a, a, a six pack. He's got to have all the sixes, right? Why did this become kind of a meme and or joke and or truth? Because we talk about these dating profiles all the time. If the women were talking about themselves, we wouldn't have this uh, this meme or this trope, but we know they do this. And again, I've got some examples coming up. Old boy starts his bio pretty tame relatively as he says he is looking for someone with conservative values. While he outlines uh, to be uh, pro-birth, he, he writes pro-life, really into guns and Catholic. There are at least two red flags already. What are red, what red flags that he's conservative value? that he he is as pro-life. Is that a red flag? He's really into weapons. Um, okay, maybe the guy hunts. Uh, they say, but at least he didn't say MAGA. Oh, okay. Oh boy, never explicitly says it, but he goes on, uh, he might as well because it only gets worse from here. Uh, so somebody posted, I feel some. I sometimes feel like there should be a third option, swipe left, swipe right, and toss into orbit immediately. All right, so let's read this awful, awful profile that this guy wrote. And granted, it's not a great profile, but hey, again, uh, women do it all the time. So why not guys? They say, I'm looking, he says, I'm looking for a woman with conservative values, pro-life, second amendment and Catholic. Please be five foot four to five, seven, 115 to 125 pounds, uh, 32B to 34C uh, bra size, size 12 to 16 waist and size six to seven uh in size six dash seven feet. Oh, okay. I was like six to seven feet tall. No, size six or seven feet. Uh, be fun, down to earth, be manicured, pedicured, and keep yourself fairly clean. Your attire should be 80% casual, 20% formal, but be into wearing costumes in bed. Be trustworthy, present, and also into movies, road trips, and family stuff. PG-13 with all other others. Uh, R dash X, X, X with me. You must also love dogs, and no kids, 18 to 26 years old, and he's 38 years old. Okay, it is quite a shopping list. I make fun of people that put out shopping lists all the time because all you're doing is you're taking it down from the 100% the of the opposite uh, gender down to 10%, and so your odds are not good. Now, being that dating profiles are, are or finding someone online already for a man is a joke, all this guy's done is, is boiled it down to the 0.0001% of women that would actually contact him. Uh, so it is what it is, but they continue on. She says, I scream internally. Let's start with the weirdly specific requirements for height, weight, bra size, including the band, waist size and shoe size, question mark, exclamation mark. Okay, let, let's really do boil this down. Weirdly specific requirements for height, Women's profiles all the time. Must be at least taller than me. Must be at least six feet. Women do it all the time. Weight. Women say all the time, I'm, you know, I'm a hefty girl, but I want the guy that I date to be athletic. Bra size. Okay. There are lots of women that say, I like broad shoulders or you should have big arms or be muscular. Waist size. There are many women that say, I don't do, you know, heavy set guys. And shoe size. Okay. That one's kind of a weird one, but maybe the guy's got a foot thing. Uh, they say maybe he already bought all those clothes for his future spouse will ever need. And that's why he's so strict on all of these. Not okay and absolutely ludicrous rationale. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you for having a shopping list, gentlemen? Uh, but like perhaps marginally better than being a creep by demanding specific measurements of your significant other? No, it's absurd any way you spin it. Okay, so this is women putting out there that if you put any specific measurements of your of your significant other, that is creepy. Do you are you listening, ladies? Any measurements about someone you're looking for significant other is creepy. The Mary Sue has said so. So, for men or women, we got to have the same rules. So, any way you sit, uh, spin this, this is absurd. Because please explain the waist size to bra size different. I've seen people online who prefer, prefer a specific cup size, but a band size? The band size is the ultimate giveaway. He has no idea what he is talking about. The band size for a 32 is 28 to 30 inches, and for a 34 is 30 to 32 inches. Even if you fudge the numbers because standard sizing is weird, that isn't close to a 12 to 15 inch waist. Oh boy, that is half. 
Here's what I love about this paragraph. Some of you guys don't know this, okay? Um, she's saying if you have, uh, this guy's asking for a, a 28 to a 34 inch chest, which is the measurement, the number measurement is around the chest here, okay? And she says, even if you fudge those numbers, that isn't close to a 12 to 15 inch waist. She, she screwed up the own measurements because if you listen, read this guy's profile, it says, please be a 32B to a 34C. So that's the 32 and 34 is the measurement around and the B to C is the cup size. But he says size 12 to 16 waist. That's not inches. He's saying, ladies, in your clothing sizes, please be a 12 to 16. Now that's actually... I think pretty reasonable. I think the average size in the United States right now is 16. Me personally, I prefer them a little slimmer than that. But she says 12 to 15 inch waist. He didn't say inches. A, a great example of how women don't even pay attention to what they're roasting. She's not even paying attention to what she's roasting. She read what he wrote incorrectly and she judged him incorrectly based on that. It's not rocket science. He never said inches. He said size. And and that does fluctuate a lot for women. I got to say that. Um, last girl I dated, she would wear like a, a zero in one size and a three in another and a five in another, depending on the cut of the... Anyway, he didn't say inches for the waist, but the alternative at that is that this is a typo and he meant shirt size. Still wrong. A person wearing size 12 and weighing 125 in most cases is wearing a largish shirt. That is correct. And that's kind of what I was saying. Size 12 to 16 is a pretty big size. And if you're weighing 125 you're, or 115, you're probably closer to, you know, a zero, one, two, three, that kind of thing. So maybe he didn't get that right. But again, is it enough they need to write an article about it? Clothes are also brought up because his ideal woman should be 80% casual, 20% formal, but be into wearing costumes in bed. Not going to kink shame, but as far as other clothing specifications, unless you are Clinton Kelly and Stacey London of what not to wear and offering a wardrobe makeover, it's beyond not okay to give a percentage of when your partner should wear certain types of clothes. Also, the yoga pants fad proves the relative formality of clothes is very subjective. No yoga pants are not formal. Sorry. Basically, he's saying, look, 80% of the time I take it chill and let's just go out and be ourselves. But 20% of the time... I like to dress up and look nice. Maybe when we go out to dinner, you are limited on how many words you can write on some of these profiles, I have to assume. But again, she's shaming him for his, his, his clothing uh, demands. The boy also demands PG-13 with all others and very naughty with me. There's so many better ways to word this, but hey, at least he's consistent with his awfulness. So now she's word policing him. This is probably a good time to point out that this uh, that this plus some earlier stuff gives off the vibe that oh boy wants a cool girl not to be confused with a regular not cool girl the cool girl is the fantasy I'm not like other girls implying by default that there's something wrong with other girls on mass the take did a great video on this in the media and something tells me this sort of long lasting pop culture concept is where he's getting all the ideas from and his imagination so again him saying look I want you to be a princess on the streets and a freak in the sheets um, there's a reason why I know that expression, because that's what a lot of guys look for is they want a girlfriend that is presentable and kind and reserved and not flaunting herself all over social media, not putting herself out there, not being flirty with every guy that she says, Hey, I have, I have a boyfriend. I'm happy with him. I'm just going to be with him. Uh, but thank you for your interest. No, thank you. And then when she gets home, she's like, Hey, do me daddy and wears an outfit for him and really shows she appreciates him. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. As a matter of fact, most men would like that because they also don't want a princess in the sheets, which is, can I do this? Can I do this? Oh, don't touch. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, don't. No, this doesn't work for me. Uh, bleh, no guy wants that. No guy wants. And women don't want that either. Let's be honest. Women don't want that where a guy needs very specific things in bed. That's no fun. So let's, let's look at some of these other uh, dating profiles from women. I'm going to zoom these up a little bit. I was, I was kind and, and, and these were either already blurred out or I blurred them out. This is one I actually did six months ago, but I found it again online. This gal is dressed like a pumpkin in a garbage bag. Just, I'm, I'm just being for real. Orange leg, black garbage bag looking 
pleather or whatever it is, leather boots or fake leather boots, and a big orange pumpkin top with red hair. All right. She's 24. Short guys swipe left. Wait a minute. Now, just according to your article, anybody that says anything about a physicality size is a creep. So, oh, she's a creep. A man under six feet tall is not a real man. Sorry, not sorry. Aren't you body shaming something that men have no control over? I'm pretty sure you have control over your body shape, however, but you're going to call out men. And again, look, I have no problems if someone's if someone's a big person, no hate on you. I have no hate on you. But when you start calling out other people for their physical attributes, you get to get called out on yours. That's all there is to it. All right. And if I were to make say something about her and she goes, yeah, but you're short and bald. I, I, my answer would be that is correct. I am five foot six or seven, depending on, you know, if I'm if I'm having a good day or not. <laughs> As I age, I shrink. So someday I'll be five, two, I'm sure. And you can say, hey, you're short, bald and ugly. And I'll be like, OK, let's call each other out on our things. But you don't hear me saying, wait a minute, that's not fair. You can't. No, nah. if you're going to call people out, you get called out yourself. But you're going to say you're not a man because I don't have the genes to grow six feet tall? Okay. <laughs> Good for you. Smoker, swipe left. That's fine. 420 friendly. Pass. Okay. Make under 100 grand. I'm not interested. Let's see. Now, do I have my little money? Where's my little money icon? Oh, there it is. If you make under 100 grand, I'm not interested. I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty shaming. She says, sorry, but I have to be direct. And I, I know my worth looking for a man, not a boy. So guys, if you're five foot 10 and athletic, own your own home or business, and you drive a $50,000, a $75,000 pickup truck or a $60,000 Tesla, you're not a man. You're just a boy because you don't make more than a hundred grand and you're not six feet tall. Is this fair? Should we write an article about this? Here's another one. She's 35. Now, this one, the face was already kind of lined out, um, so I didn't touch it. But I'm just going to say, 35? Really? Uh, okay. All right. I'll, I'll take your word for it. Uh, she's an unemployed business owner at blank. So her she was a a, a, bo a a business owner and apparently it didn't work out so well. So she's an unemployed business owner. She is a straight by woman. What? How are you both? That says that is that so you can get all the choices? Classic move. Oh yeah. She says uh, about a partner to share life with hubby, a home, a family, fur babies. I want him to be all about me. Hmm. That sounds like the other guy asking the woman to do certain, certain things and meet certain criteria for him. Serious inquiries only. Let's see if you read this. You must <clears throat> not live at home, have perfect teeth, white and straight. You definitely have to smell good, hairless everywhere. Can you imagine now if, if this were the Mary Sue writing this article, they'd be like, what am I supposed to not have any eyebrows? Okay. Hairless everywhere. That means that you have to be bald and no beard and no eyebrows and no leg hair and manicure to the point of shaving and shave your ar armpits and shave your chest hair. I don't know about you. That sounds pretty controlling, almost like the guy that wrote his profile. Career wealthy. You have to have a wealthy career, gentlemen. In the meantime, she's an unemployed business owner. <laughs> nice shoes always. So when you're mowing the lawn, make sure you're doing it in your $300 Italian pigskin leather loafers. Expectations. You have to keep her safe. You have to open the door for her. Hold her hand always. That would probably be awkward as she's using the toilet. Play with her hair. Now she'll never return the favor because you can't have any hair. You see, you have to love football. You get down on food. You have to make 
her laugh. Make me laugh, it says. You have to be affectionate. You have to challenge her and you have to be her teammate. I don't know. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Something not right here. She's asking for a whole lot. I don't see her offering anything. But again, this this Mary Sue article here is all like, hey, he's not all. It's just a grocery list of demands. That's all this one is. Is there an article written about it? No. How about this one? I don't have a photo for this one. If you're not uh, if you're not jabbed, that means you aren't very smart. So I'd never consider meeting you. So pass me by. I enjoy staying active, kayaking, paddleboarding, swimming, looking for an educated guy. No gangsters, no leeches, no struggling artists. And I prefer a guy who is family oriented, wants kids. Okay, if he has kids, not be in love with your ex still. All right. Uh oh. Prefers a Caucasian guy under six foot two. So not only is she being kind of racist, but she's actually now putting a six foot two number on there. That alone boils it down to like three or five percent of the population. Unless you're in Southeast Asia, then is zero point zero 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 one. Uh, you better be sweet and kind and not have a potty mouth. I really like a guy with manners. No smokers, bar flies, addicted gamers. So you can't be too much into video games. Three times a day, gym guys. No guys on juice or uh, uh, substances. If you message me with hey, hi, yo, hello, or any other lame one word contacts, I won't answer. Give me something that will make me want to get to know you. Uh, well, I'd love to stay in chat, but you're a total bitch. <laughs> right. But again, guy, remember, guys, this, these ladies are calling this one guy out for his one profile. I have thousands of these. Let's continue on, shall we? From a 26-year-old. Please read carefully before texting me. It is very difficult to surprise me. My expectations are, gee, that sounds like a list to me. Intelligent, independent man. Invitation to a specific event or dinner or something more interesting. Don't just try to take her out for coffee and dinner, guys. That is not interesting enough. And no, I don't have any Instagram. My time is too precious. And yes, I have a deep sense of privacy. If you're making poor choices, don't even try. I will not put my ass in a car that costs less than a hundred grand. I don't lead long conversations here. Boy, I don't know about you, but that sounds uh, pretty condescending, doesn't it? Here's another one for you. Now that in this photo, this young lady is very very, very, very pregnant. She looks like she's, she's slid a, how pregnant? Like she slid a basketball under her dress, like very baby bump. She says, I'm looking for my forever person. Oh, she's 35, by the way. Um, her passions are vlogging, shopping, fashion, foodie, and an Instagram. Okay. Let's try this again. Uh, she's into shopping, fashion. She's a foodie. And she's into Instagram, getting that social validation. Looking for my forever person. You know, let me zoom this up for you a little bit. There you guys can see the, the little basketball she got going on there. She's, uh, she says, looking for my forever person. Someone laid back, honest, authentic, high morals and values, beautiful soul, kind, gentle, loving, and great with kids. I have two boys and I'm pregnant with another boy. So she's got two kids and a bun in the oven. So she hasn't even had her other child. I don't know what happened to the baby daddies, but she's got one in the oven and she's already out trying to date again. Now, now maybe it's just me, but maybe cool it out just a little bit. At least have the kid and get adjusted to your new, new life. But that's just me. She says, I don't date gamers, smokers heavy drinkers. And here, here is the best part. She doesn't date men that already have kids. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so, sir. 
I don't think so. You're going to have two kids, one in the one bun in the oven, and you're going to say that you're not going to date anybody with kids? Again, the hypocrisy. I tried to find an article about this dating profile. Mary Sue did not write one. I don't understand it. Uh, she says, I also don't uh, date men who ride motorcycles. Sounds like a specific hobby she's not okay with. If you aren't looking for anything serious or date with no intentions, please don't swipe right. I don't know about you, but I'm guessing you probably didn't all, always date with intentions if you're still single with three kids and you haven't even had the third one yet. Now, of course, this looks like she's standing in front of her Mercedes wearing a holding a Gucci bag. She got a big ring and a watch that looks like it may have some fake diamonds or diamonds on it or whatever. I mean, you know what you're getting with this one, fellas. Now, here's another one. Again, she's a little bit, a little bit of a bigger girl. Was she a great big fat person? She's 33. She's, she's a verified. She says, not looking for anything serious, just a tall, handsome husband to have a couple of kids with. Prefer someone who can help me carry my target bags inside. So uh, she wants you to be tall. You have to be handsome um, and you have to carry her bags for her. So basically she's looking for a manservant. She's five foot four. She's curvy. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, technically she's correct. There are a lot of curves in different directions. Um, she's a dog and cat mom. I'd like to make an, I'd, let me correct that. She said, I'd make an incredible wife, excluding my obvious target problem. I live on 400 beautiful acres in mid central. She says, you, you have to have a great smile. You have to be athletic and competitive. You have to be athletic and competitive. And again, let me just be really clear about this because I get I, I sometimes do get hate about this. G gentlemen or ladies, if you're heavier, if you're bigger, if you're skinny, if you're short, if you're tall, I do not care. I do not judge you on that. But what I am going to do is when you start judging other people, you're going to get judged in return. And now some people may say, I love that body style. Hey, that's great. That's great. I don't. And so if you're going to say someone needs to be tall and this, that, and the other, I'm going to tell you what I think about you. That's how this, that's how this works. So you must be athletic and competitive. You must enjoy walks with the dogs. We'll make waffles on Sunday with me. You have to feed her. If you fit the bill and aren't opposed to relocating, drop me a line. So, hey, you got to you got to drop whatever you're doing, fellas. Go make waffles with her on Sunday. Um, just don't forget to, to hit the gym because you got to be in shape. Here's another one for us. This one wasn't quite as bad, but uh, still it shows the hypocrisy. She says, I'm uh, she's uh, I, I don't have the age on this one. She says, I'm going to be clear. I want to be in love. Ultimately, I want a man that will pay for all dates. I am looking to be spoiled. I want a man who plans all dates and I get to show up and just look cute and give positive vibes. I have a belly, by the way, be taller than five, seven. I have a belly and you need to be taller than five, seven. In return, I'm affectionate and sweet and fun to be around. So you have to pay for everything, plan her dates, spoil her, take care of her. And what does she bring in return? I'm affectionate and sweet and fun to be around. My dog Walker laying next to me on my floor right here. He's a very loving, sweet boy, and he's really fun to be around. You, you offer nothing more to me than my, my very faithful hound at my feet but you have all these expectations from men. Please be a texter. Phones are no bueno. If you're just looking for a hookup, I'm not your girl. I want to be wined and dined and have a connection. It sounds like she desperately wants a connection with your wallet. I'm going to leave it there. I, this is a, a the for this video. Um, but you guys get the point, right? So... 
she's all these they call out one guy for one dating profile and they go nuts on him in the meantime there are thousands tens of thousands hundreds of thousands of women's dating profiles that are just as bad maybe not in the same way but if you're going to call a guy out because he has specific wants of hey i'd like a woman to act like this when she's out in public and act like this privately I'd, I'd like her body shape to be in these proportions and f her physical attributes. You're going to call him out on that. And in the meantime, you're not calling these women out on their call outs, on their physical attributes, on their attributes they want, they want their men to have. And the fact that they are even admitting in many cases, it's a double standard. Um, this is why I'm saying that, that, that the dating, that date guys are just onto it especially on these dating apps. But the thing is, I think the dating apps are just are just a reflection of the people in the real world. Now, you'll probably meet much more normal women in the real world versus, versus on the dating apps. But if you don't see the double standards here, I don't know what to tell you. And this next, the next segment I'm doing here, uh, the next segment I'm doing here is Tinder data shows women's standards are impossible. And, and that's that's the next one. Again, guys, if you're on, on YouTube, join me on Locals. If you want to see all of these, um, if you're just here on YouTube, I'm cutting them up into segments. You can enjoy the full videos over on Locals. Mm -hmm.